creating roofs by extension. So we can have a second method of creating a roof when we can extend our roof uh, if we sketch out a profile. And so if we want to do this, we're going to go up to the build panel in our architecture tab. We're going to go to roof. We're going to roof by extension. The first thing we'll do is say, all right, you know, what plane do you want to use? Uh, we can pick a name plane or we can go to uh, and pick a plane. So we can pick a plane um, and use that work plane to sketch on and uh, if we have them already so ahead of time you might want to create a work plane. Uh, in my case I might try this and just say okay uh, let's go and pick a plane. All right, we'll do that. And we'll say okay. And what plane do we want? I'll pick this plane right here. And it says, hey, what do you want? Uh, I'll go with elevation south, and I'm going to open up that view. Then it's going to come up and say, hey, the roof reference level. Uh, where do you want the roof? On level one or level two or whatever? And you can pick whatever you like. And I can also build an offset so that it's parked up above the roof a little bit. And uh, so I can say, oh, I'm not going to do it, but I'll go to level two. I'll say OK. And it will throw me in then into a create extension roof profile, which puts me automatically into these draw tools. Uh, I can start drawing with a line, for example, now. And I'll come over here. And I'll grab onto this corner of the endpoint, and I can draw any shape I want. So I'm going to go, let's say, at 10 feet at 45 degrees, and then I'm going to go, let's say, at uh, another 10 feet. I'm going to do something really goofy here uh, at, say, uh, 30 degrees, and then I'm going to go, let's say, 20 feet. 20 feet. I'm going to go up here at say 45 degrees. There we go. And I'm just going to come down and repeat that. 20 feet. And then I wanted to go at 30 degrees. I believe that was 10 feet. I could mirror this actually. Ooh, 10 feet at 30 degrees. And I can come down here and I can pick on my end of my line. And when I'm done, uh, I can hit enter, escape rather. Now, if, now at this point, uh, it has to be, the lines have to be touching. They have to be connected. They cannot form a closed loop. And so once we have that sketch in place, we can come over here to our properties and we can change the basic type of properties that we want. Uh, I can go with a steel truss or a roof rafter or something. I'll just go with a simple roof rafter at this point. And then I can come in here and change that I want any offsets, uh, any radiuses, uh, all those types of things. And so I can make any changes in here to my uh, properties of my roof. If I wanted to, I could actually go in and edit the type of roof. I could make a duplicate and make another type of roof here and make some changes if needed be. And so when I'm done and happy with my particular roof, I'm going to go over and I'm going to finish my edit mode. When I finish my edit mode, now I end up with a extruded roof. Now, uh, let's go and take a look at this uh, roof. And uh, we're going to go up into our default 3D view. And you can see at this point that I got a nice roof, right? Um, and if I come in here and I actually shade that roof, you can see, oh, cool. Uh, we got a roof, all right, um, but 
Now we got a slight little problem that we will have to address in our next video.